Well, Any observations in this first 12 minutes? Well, my, my first observation is that the referees are, are letting an awful lot go, and I think that's great. They're being very discretionary, and there's a goal! Yeah, a little Jimmy Wasson. A big goal puts the Philadelphia Wings ahead, 4-2. to two. That was unassisted, although they may give Wayne Flatt an assist for feeding him the ball. And let's watch this great individual effort. Look, he was bumped twice, and you saw there was a delayed penalty call. Winding down to 14, since they didn't hit the face of the goal, time is now moving down. This is to Darius Kilgore, all the way down, easy, slam, dunk. Rope for John Tavares, one to nothing, Buffalo leads. Sets up Tavares all alone. Kilgore with a look away feed. Look at the open net. Nothing but rope for Tavares. The key is to get the feed through the defense. With only three players, they had to almost let it go through. Learn from Terry Rowland to let it go in that kind of position. No question. All right, 6 3 Philadelphia. There's Hayes. He's going to cut right in and score. Oh, real shooting gallery all of a sudden now, Jay. Doug Hayes gets his first goal of the night, not his first of the year. That's 103 on the season for Doug Hayes, who appears to have the scoring champion pretty much locked up. That goal comes to the 14-26 mark, and that's a 6-4 game. All right, there he goes, and uh, this, maybe there was a screen here, John. Let's see, but it looked like it was uh, just a bullet shot that got past uh, Wayne. He's got Paul Gates, can't pick it up cleanly. Paul Gay playing with mixed emotions. If you're used to seeing with number 19, he's wearing 22. Paul Gay got rope! Timeout after this. Official timeout. This is the man that can do it all himself against the best goalie in the league. One on one. Expect to see a lot of that. Here comes Gate. He beats Kerwick on the defense. Now he'll launch himself in for the left-handed shot and finds rope. It's a two-to-one game. Gate brings the Nighthawks back to within one. Now almost 13 years ago, he has survived. He's also the largest goalie in the league currently. Score! Oh my goodness, all by himself. That was Emmett Prinnup, who is in the lineup to replace Brad Cox, walked up the left wing, stopped, took the right-handed shot, and beat Bilger. Prinup's going to wind up sidearm, throws it off the hip of the defense, and Tucker is in past Bilger. Once again, you see the windup come right off his hip. It's on the inside corner. Goal. And it's John Grant at six foot seven inches tall, the largest member of either team. And he'll have the ball a good deal of the time for Team Kennedy. Makes a move on his own, alone, and scores. And that is vintage John Grant from the Philadelphia Wings fans, who remember a decade ago, John Grant just doing it on his own, John. It's a real treat in box lacrosse to watch Johnny Grant do his thing. And uh, Team USA will have to double team him when he gets inside that dotted circle because Big John one-on-one -on -one is deadly. And as a goalie that has played against John, uh, you always have to be leery of his backhand shot. He'll break. He'll try to take it in. Got a man in front. There's a pass blindly behind the Len Newman. Far side pass, there's a drive. Rick Besson and Rochester lead, eight to seven. Ricky Besson, number 11. A blistering shot from a way out, and boy, the Rochester Griffins now appear to have momentum. Me. Here's the shot, now watch it. There it goes, and that's a blister.
who controls it for the wings. Number seven, Sandy Lynch, right at the bottom of your picture, goes to Rick Beal, who just scored. Gets cross-checked from behind, but gets out of trouble. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Larry Lloyd, left-hand shot to score. Well, Lloyd gets his second of the night and his 60, 49th of the season. And he'll get that from Rick Beal as he fired over the shoulder of Ron Hill on the screen. Rick Beal, watch the screen right there, over his shoulder. And you could see that uh, though Barry got a piece of it, he never had a clear view of the shot. And number 49 from Rick Beal makes it 8-4 at 350. Well, Rick Beal continues to uh, figure in the wing scoring. Randy Natoli comes up with that one right there. Momentum. Will it switch? It was all the wings in the first period. Score! Talk about momentum. Back-to-back -back goals in a matter of seconds. This one by Marino, his first of the night. He's not even on a regular line. Not expected to play with some leg problems, but love the goal there. Beautiful. It's a weak side pick. It's the offside pick. He comes across off the pick, catches it, has everything to shoot at, all four corners. Roddy Marino can play the game. All-American, University of Virginia. Two years in a row, first-team All-American attackman.